Hello everyone and welcome to another broadcast of Confessions of a Horseback Riding Freak, the podcast where we talk about the most amazing horse stuff. Today on the Inspiring Monday session we are going to talk about the story of Amberly Snyder, the rodeo queen who survived a car crash and has now released a movie based on her book Walk, Ride, Rodeo. Amberly Snyder was born in California on January 29, 1991. She moved with her family to Utah at the age of seven. And an interesting thought here, my dear audience, she told her dad she wouldn't move to this new city unless she got a Palomino barrel horse. And that is where her days on the rodeo started. She successfully lived through her high school days competing on the rodeo, mainly on barrel races, as one of her earliest achievements is the one she made on her senior year. She won the National Little Bridges Rodeo Association's All-Around Cowgirl World Championship in 2009. Speaking on the Biomain interview, I quote her saying, Life's perfect, right? Everything is going just the way that you plan. However, writers of the world, this is where things went downhill. On January 2010, on her way to Denver, she lost control of her car and had a rollover truck accident. She was ejected from the driver's seat and collided with a fence post, which broke her back. Umberly's life seemed to have changed forever, with zero possibilities of her walking again. On her time in the hospital is where the movies and books name is inspired on. Walk, ride, rodeo. Those were her life goals. Four months after the accident, with enough muscle strength on her arms and determination on her system, she was able to ride her horse power again. She refigured out how to live her life, how to manage her horses, and take care of herself. Horses are her love, and Amberly's too. They are her legs, they are her passion, and they are her best friends. She taught them how to behave around her and help her take care of them. They are trained to put their heads on, the, on her lap so that she can put the bridle on. They are trained to stay still so that she can ride them and settle them. They are trained to stick with her and walk with her although they are free to leave. And they do this because for them, she is as important as they are for her. 18 months after her accident, she started competing again. She's in the best 20 riders of America, and she says she will continue hanging in there. Amberly overcame one of the greatest limitations human health has ever seen, to continue doing what she loved. She's also a motivational speaker, founded the Amberly Snyder Freedom Foundation, which focuses on money donations to disabled people so that they can reach their freedom, as she did. She also donated money to a foundation that supports the use of seatbelts, because for her, this is very important. If she used a seatbelt on the moment of her accident, she would have avoided all of this chaos. But for now, it's important for her that she helps others remember that. She's an inspiration for disabled writers around the world and motivates us to be grateful about what we have. She's also an example of the wonderful bond a horse and the rider can have. I invite you to read her book or watch her movie. I promise you it will be worth it. Okay, dear audience, that was all for today's session. Remember that in our next broadcast, we'll skip our horsey session and talk about a well-known problem, the importance of ending world hunger. Hunger is one of the greatest problems worldwide, affecting millions of lives in all types of regions and cultures. It is important to solve it so that we can grow as a better and healthier community, solving malnourishment on the run. We will have a special guest that will introduce us and talk a little bit about this problem. She is Dr. Michelle Parshovsky. Yes, I am Dr. Michelle Pashowski. I am pediatrician of Doctors Without Borders. I have traveled to the poorest nations in Africa, Asia and Latin America, saving children for starvation. Thank you, Dr. Michelle. Would you please give us a sneak peek of what we will learn in the next session? Sure, remember that to contribute with the solution of hunger and poverty, you can buy sustainable food and make food donations to help with hunger. For helping out with poverty, you can support homeless people and refugees and offer jobs to unemployed people for they to have a second opportunity in life. 
Thank you, everybody. Now I can officially say goodbye.